Hey, what's going on everybody? JP from Wonder to Get Lost, and did you know you can weld plastic? Stick around and let's find out. It could be this simple forever. everybody so uh, we're finally tackling repairs from our accident where our tow bar failed and the Jeep smacked the rear of the RV and I am plastic welding our bumper back together or at least the uh, driver's side bumper corner I've already begun the process and I've already been uh, just learning as I go but basically you use a heat handheld heating element with a flat tip you melt the plastic and then you push the mesh into the plastic on the back side then you go on to the front side and you fill it in using uh, one of these plastic welding rods and you melt this into the gap so that's what I've been doing so far it seems to be working the plan is just going to get the snapped off piece back into place once I get it all reconnected I'll probably uh, heat it up and try and flatten out some of the high spots. Then we'll sand it down. And if I have to, we'll use Bondo, but it should be good enough to then sand prime and paint uh, once we do all the stuff. So let me show you what it looks like. So here's the inside. So you can see I've already been starting up there, working my way down here in the middle. So. And it actually is pretty hard and s stiff once it's all done and cooled off and the mesh is inside the plastic, so it's actually really good. Uh, and then here, here's the side. So basically this whole thing snapped off from the bottom all the way up to the top. So you can see through this gap, you can see the metal mesh. And the one thing that did happen is that when this broke, it kind of splayed out a bit. So I'm hoping that once I get this repaired and uh, with the heat gun, I can kind of melt it and then form it back into shape. So that's the plan. So you may be asking yourself or talking to the computer saying, hey JP, why are you going through all that work for a $247 bumper part? Well, the reason is simple. It's because it takes eight to 10 weeks to even get one of these from, there's really two main Winnebago parts dealers, uh, LixenRV.com and WinnebagoParts.com. They don't have it. it. They pretty much told me eight to 10 weeks. So I decided to try and tackle this project because I think the welding kit was 20 bucks and some rods were an extra 10 bucks. I'll link those to Amazon down below, but I'm pretty much almost done. And uh, it's probably gonna be close enough for government work for me just to get this back on, sanded and primed. And I think from looking far away, it's probably gonna look pretty good. So yeah, that's why I'm tackling that. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to doing some more uh, welding. Here we go. So pretty much you just hold the heating element down on top of it till the plastic starts melting. You don't want to push through the plastic, obviously, but get a little melt. And then right there, and you just kind of like work the mesh into the plastic. I am outside, so I'm in a good, well-ventilated area, and it, it does produce a lot of smoke and fumes. And that's it. So... Basically, you just sit here for uh, about an hour, maybe two hours, slowly going through melting plastic <laughs> and pushing this mesh into it. And then the other thing what I've been doing is uh, being that there's a big gap here, I've been using the welding rod and I've been just uh, backfilling a little bit from behind the mesh just to fill it in from the back. And you basically just put the heating element down onto the rod and just melt it through until it turns pretty much to goo. And it just fills right in the back. And you just spread it around. As long as it's hot and liquidy, you can just move it around. All right, shouldn't be much more. And then I'll be uh, done with the whole 
welding process. So this is the inside. I'm going to let this cool and harden and then we'll flip it over and then we'll do the uh, outside and fill in that gap. All right. All right, so that's cool now. I'm going to take off the tape that's kind of been holding it into place. So we just got to fill in this gap and you can kind of see it kind of bows here where this should be flat. So I'm hoping once I heat this up, get this all melted and then what I'll do is I'll press on this to keep it while it cools and hopefully flatten that out a little bit and then we'll probably take the heat gun go over this and I'm going to use a piece of wood just to kind of press it down a little bit but um, I think once it's sanded it'll it'll look fine so yeah here we go And uh, of course here on the outside of it, you just got to be careful you don't push too hard and melt in, like, again, just don't melt into the material too much. Just got to heat it up enough, press it in, and start letting it cool, and then you can just work it a little bit. And this is all the extra that's on top, you're just going to sand off. So there we go, it's kind of basically a, uh, I guess you could say it's a rough edit. <laughs> so we're going to let this cool overnight and set up and then I'm going to come back and sand this all down, check it and uh, see how we're looking. But I think pretty good, you know it's a little bowed here, it's a little bowed out. A little bows out a little bit here but uh, I don't know if I really want to worry about that too much so yeah all right so that's it for the plastic welding tool super easy to use all you got to do is just follow the directions I'll link to it down below in the description it's from Amazon I think it was about 20 something bucks and then I bought some extra welding rods but the kit did come with some cool stuff it came with like the little seat for it to sit on. Came with uh, sandpaper. It does come with its own set of welding rods. I just bought extra in case. Uh, it comes with the metal mesh that you need. Comes with two of the tips. So you have one extra. It, does, it comes with this foil tape, uh, which they say to use, but I, didn't, I found it not sticky enough. So I used the uh, blue painter's tape. And then it comes with a wire brush that you can use to clean the tip from the uh, plastic residue. Not bad. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow along on our awesome RV adventures. All right, till next time, stay lost.